but I'll never mind. Oh, I, I spy with my little light. I spy, I spy with my little light. Yo, what is going on guys? It's Newbie and I'm back for another video. Uh, first thing, right off the bat, look at our team, dude. We're an 80 overall, a lot upgraded. There's a lot of things that have happened to this team. I've spent a lot of coins. I also have a lot of coins. That's a lot for me anyway. I don't buy packs, so... I don't usually buy packs. I don't know. If I do, it's a special video. But, um, yeah, first of all... I feel really sick, so I don't know if my voice is going to change on the audio, but I just feel like really, like really not good today. Um, here's our team, and uh, his team was looking pretty good, man. It was looking pretty good. Um, I didn't go through the roster, but he had Jared Goff at QB, Bettis at halfback, and on the very first play of the game, we're going to get a sack right there on him. Fowler Jr., as, uh, man, I was actually raging pretty hard in this game because a lot of this was happening, man. Look at this. Missed tackles all the way to the end zone. I'm pretty sure that's Andre Reed, the Buffalo Bill for his uh, franchise, or not his franchise, for his career. Um, but, yeah, man, this guy was actually a really good player. And uh, throwing it right here to my half, or not my halfback, my fullback. I can't talk today. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, here, for some reason, I go for a fake punt. He was so open if my, ah, oh, dude, if my punter could throw a little bit more accurately, that would have been a first down, kept that drive alive. Over here, Jared Goff's going to scramble out of the pocket, and he's going to get around, like, eight, nine yards there. And uh, it was hard to stop this guy's offense because he played really well. Bettis right here as I miss another tackle. And look at me, I was about to quit, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to stay in. Before this, I was played. I played like three games straight, and I lost all of them, dude. I was playing awful. Uh, right here, I'm gonna hit Gronk, and uh, I decided to stay with this game because you know what? Why not? See what happens. And here is the man of the episode, Va Devontae Parker. He was doing great in this game. Right here, I'm gonna hit Tony Gonzalez on the out route. No one there. And it's gonna take that bad boy all the way in for th our first score of the night, and we're only down by seven. So at this point, I was thinking, all right, maybe I can come back a little bit. But right here, what are we doing? Andre Reed is destroying our defense. One play and in the end zone. And uh, right on the kickoff, you know when you see a kickoff from me, it's got to be a touchdown. I'm taking it right up the middle. And you see no one's there. And I just run straight up the field for a touchdown. And we're back. We're right back in it. It's all good. So... 14 to 21 and we're looking all right looks like we can if we get a few turnovers we can do what we need to do to win this game is right here he's gonna try to scramble out throw almost picked off right there by my defense and third and three I'm pretty sure he picks this up no he gets sacked but on fourth down he goes for it and that guy's wide open but he gets smacked, and we got the ball, and that's the turnover we needed to get these points back. I'm going to go third and ten on this drive. Let's see what we can do. I'm looking for someone to get open. No one open. Looking, looking. Devontae Parker breaks loose, and I'm going to hit him up at the 20-yard line, bringing us in the red zone. Here we are, first and ten, throwing it to Devontae Parker once again on a slant, and that's two catches in a row for him. Going right here, and I'm... Should have thrown it to him a third time, but I get picked off, man. Oh, my God. I got to stop those turnovers because the turnovers are killing me in these games. Right here, I'm looking to get a sack, but weird animation. He throws it. And it's going to be picked picked off right back by Bailey. Champ Bailey getting the ball back for us. But, unfortunately, on this play, I'm just trying to run it with Geo, And he's going to put the ball on the ground, and then he's going to get it right back. But look at this. Tyrod Taylor can't get the angle. No one's fast enough to get him. And he actually gets a touchdown out of this play. I was, I don't think you understand how upset I was playing this game. It's so annoying. And he, for some reason, goes for a fake here. And uh, we stuff him because, you know, those don't work through. But uh, here on another kickoff, he's going to kick it to me right back, right from that two-point conversion. And look at this, right up the middle again. He cannot stop me. Almost got me right there. And last chance, he could not get me. And we're going to take this bad boy all the way to the end zone for a crib call. And it's going to be 21 to 27. If I score a touchdown, I'll be winning by a point as long as I make that PAT. Um, second and seven. 
He's looking for a little screen pass here, but he's gonna throw it up the middle. He's gonna be picked off by I don't even know who that is. Harris. Don't even know his full name, but I'm gonna swerve out the way of his dudes, taking that all the way for the touchdown. And big plays in this game were everywhere. This play was this game was a really good game. It really was. Uh, right there, I was trying to get a user pick, just didn't work out for me. Uh, right here, a little bit of a glitch. Uh, he's looking for. I don't know why he didn't throw this screen earlier. He was so open, but he waits for me to get over there, and he throws the user pick. Right here as Jared Goff takes me down like I'm a piece of paper, but it's all right. Giovanni Bernard, if he did not if he did not stumble there, guys, he was going all the way. There's no doubt. Right here, hitting up Devontae Parker once again, trying to get out Juke, but I get stopped at the 31-yard line. And guys, we're playing a pretty good game overall, trying to throw it to Parker again, forcing it. Did not work out. Throwing it again to Parker, but it's third and 16, and uh, that's going to have to... Give the ball to him before half, and he's going to try to nail a field goal, but he misses it by distance from a 28-yarder. Not sure how he did that. It's because the kickers and mutt are garbage, dude. Right here, Parker trying to force it. He somehow gets it off the tip, and it's going to go down to the 46-yard line. Tyrod Taylor, a touchdown, a pick. He's looking decent. I don't know. I might have to get a new quarterback. If you have any suggestions, hit me up as he scrambles out for nine right here. Uh, comment down below what quarterback you think I should get. Uh, I don't have lots of money as Tyrod's going to get sacked and ruin the play he just made. Um, but yeah, I really need a quarterback as I throw a pick. And look at this. Come on, Madden. What is this? This cannot happen in this video game. This is not a football video game. What is this? Come on. And he walks it in for a touchdown like it's nothing. That is insane. And he's going to also run in for the two-point conversion because my players... Not recognize he's running apparently, so it's third and ten. I'm gonna try to throw it to who is that Zay Jones? It looks like, and I'm gonna throw it to Gonzalez on the very next play on an out route. He's been beating his man all day, and he does it again here for another touchdown. And we're back in it, and the game is tied at 35. Now, here's where it gets a little sketchy in the game. Um, I'm not great under pressure, not gonna lie. In this game, not really great. As he's gonna throw a pass right here, somehow. Completes that one. I th thought for sure I was going to knock that one loose. Right here trying to knock a fumble. I really thought I could get it. Really thought I could. But uh, I don't know. Tensions were high. We get a sack. And the fourth quarter comes up. He's going to take a field goal. Look at this. He hits the bar. And he gets so lucky it bounces right in. Oh my lord. At the time I actually thought it didn't go in. But right here we're going to try to hit Beasley. Wide open on the sideline. And we got him for a first down. Tyrod Taylor, good thing he is mobile. That is one thing I do like about him. Right here is something I don't like about him. Very inaccurate at times, man. Right here, could not force it to Gonzalez. So, fourth and 13, guys. This is right now, I was thinking it was the game. I throw a pick. And uh, I was thinking, okay, that's the game right here. So, you know, he's just going to run it out. But uh turns out he runs it. And uh, literally... My players don't know what to do in this situation. Can't even get a tackle there. Taking it down to the 15-yard line. And uh, my players are just clueless when it comes to stopping the run. Look at this. Look at that. He just missed in the open field. And he walks in for a touchdown. And at this point, I was really upset. I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I want to come back. So I still have a chance, guys. and see what I can do. Right here, I'm going to hit... Giovanni Bernard up the middle. He has space. See if we can outrun him. We can't, but we can take it all the way to the 10 yard line. We're going hurry up. I don't have time. No timeouts. We got to take this bad boy into the end zone with little Gio for the touchdown. And we are only three points away. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I forgot about this play. I should have thrown it to A on a two pointer, but I throw a pick two, I guess you could call it, as uh, Tyrod. I was trying to stop him from getting this. But uh, Tyrod Taylor just, uh, yeah, he ran in a circle, guys. But, um, yeah, basically, that is going to seal this game off. It was a really exciting one, really good game. Uh, GG to my opponent. He played pretty well last play of the game. I got a sack because uh, he was trying to throw it deep for some reason. And, um, yeah, this game was pretty good. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.